just a really really quick one today I want to show you what came in the post not too long ago uh, I haven't really got around to making this video uh, things have been things have sort of got on top of me a little bit but just want to run you through what came in the post not too long ago so inside what you've got is a number of different forms documents uh, leaflets and so on just guiding you through the process to obtaining your license so here you've got a brochure it just outlines what sort of things you will be expected to do to obtain your license the different things you're going to need to know so there's a number of different things different steps different racing schools all across the United Kingdom I'm actually going to be doing my ARDS test at Thruxton which is near Andover this is the list of what the order in which the activities will take place on your test day and some of the information you're going to need to know flags, signals probably the newest one to me at least is code 60 which is basically neutralizing the racetrack to make it safe it's kind of like a full course yellow just some useful information if you're not too uh, too clued up on on motorsport then we've got some different forms so this is a leaflet helping uh, sorry a letter helping show what you're going to need to get filled out this is a medical form that I've had done. I'm going to move it out so you can't quite see the details. But basically I had to go to my GP and they went through a number of different checks. They checked my eyesight, my weight, my height, uh, asked me a number of questions whether I've got uh, any heart problems, any sort of historical family illnesses and so on. Fortunately I don't. These are some extra pieces of information to read through. Some of it's for your advice for your GP, other bits are for myself. Addressed envelope to return to the MSA for my license. And because I purchased this from MSVT, um, they also kindly included a few stickers, uh, novice cross, which is going to go on the back of the car and some advertising from themselves obviously trying to uh, promote their, their side of the business can't blame them finally there is a mock example of what your license would look like mine is going to be a national B which basically means that I can't race in Europe at the moment. Uh, I'm going to need to get a number of stamps on this license uh, from the clerk of the course before I can go ahead, get the approval, and race in Europe. Championship I'm looking to race in is called Magnificent Sevens. It's part of the CSCC Championship, which run a number of other events alongside mine. Uh, I'll be looking at doing all of the UK rounds that I can, starting with Silverstone, that's in May, and then some of the other guys that have licenses already upgraded, they'll be going into Europe. They'll go to Spa during the summer and Manicor in France for the finale of the season. Finally, last thing we've got is this DVD here. It's basically covering everything that's in this booklet but you can pause it you can rewind it someone's talking to you about it so it does kind of help sink in a bit better you can take notes you can stop pause rewind uh, play it over and over until it sort of sinks in so that's what I'm going to be doing for the next few weeks my ARDS test is on March the 23rd it's a Friday afternoon and it's at Thruxton so I'm hoping to take some video while I'm there Finally, I just want to say a big thanks to this guy, see if it will come into focus. Um, 
Let me see if we can get it. This chap called Mark, uh, Mark Johnson, he's on YouTube uh, as MJJ. Um, he's really inspired me to have a go at this. Uh, he's the guy I first saw doing these kind of vlogs, doing these kind of uh, introduction videos, and he's done one very similar to this. Uh, very interesting guy. Uh, I'm actually now talking to him on a very sort of personal friendship level, and really really friendly chat um, just want to say a big thanks to him for all the content he's put up that's inspired me to create my own and hopefully in the future we're going to be doing a little bit of a video together which should be really really good okay well thanks guys for listening um, it's only a quick one this time but just wanted to catch up with you again just prior to my ARDS test so I'm sure you'll find out how that goes uh, later in the month.